हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल मैथमेटिक्स जेई दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ द सीबीक्यू सीरीज और द कांसेप्ट बिल्डिंग क्वेश्चन सीरीज वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम्स टू बिल्ड आवर थिंकिंग कैपेबिलिटी फॉर जेई एडवांस्ड एज ऑलवेज आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन योरसेल्फ बिफोर सीइंग द डिस्कशन let us start our discussion here it is saying let s equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 16 plus so on up to infinity okay then find the value of this integral plus s so here if we write this series this series is s equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 4 square plus so on up to infinity that means this is equal to summation 1 by r square where r is running from r equal to 1 to infinity now let us solve this integral now how to solve this integral here we are seeing that we cannot use the property integral a to b fx dx is same as integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx because here the integral will be same then how we are going to approach this question we are going to solve this by using infinite series expansion of logarithmic function i have recently made a video on the application of infinite series expansion to solve problems you can check out that video i will link the video in the description so let us first expand one of this logarithmic terms in infinite series form so let us expand this because the series expansion of this is known to us we know that log of 1 minus x is minus of x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 plus so on up to infinity that means it can be written as minus summation r equal to uh, 1 to infinity x to the power r divided by r so we can write this integral let's say we have this integral as i so i is integral 0 to 1 log x times this series so minus summation r equal to 1 to infinity x to the power r divided by r dx now this x is a constant with respect to this summation so we can take this log x inside this summation so it will be integral 0 to 1 then it will be summation r equal to 1 to infinity x to the power r log x divided by r with dx now we already discussed that we can interchange the summation and integral because the integral of this x to the power r log x if we interchange the summation and the integral sign then that integral which we will obtain will be convergent because let us take this integral integral 0 to 1 x to the power r log x dx this is basically if we apply integration by parts here it will be if we take this as the first function and this as the second function we will get x to the power r plus 1 log x divided by r plus 1 minus this will be integral 0 to 1 then x to the power r plus 1 divided by r plus 1 times this 1 by x dx so we can write this as x to the power r dx divided by r plus 1 and this will be limits from 0 to 1 now this limit if we calculate it will be equal to 0 you can use l'hopital's rule to find this limit now this integral will be convergent because it is nothing but minus 1 by r plus 1 integral 0 to 1 x to the power r dx so this is basically minus 1 by r plus 1 whole square so it is convergent so we can interchange the order of summation and integral that means we can write this as summation r equal to 1 to infinity integral 0 to 1 then x to the power r 
log x dx divided by r. So as r is constant with respect to this integral, we can take this r here. So this integral we already calculated, it is equal to minus 1 by r plus 1 whole square. That means this will be summation r equal to 1 to infinity, then 1 by r into 1 by r plus 1 whole square. And by the way, I have missed this minus sign here. So there will be also a minus sign. That means here, this will be minus and minus. So positive. So here, this i comes out to be summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r into r plus 1 whole square. Now we have to find the value of i plus s where s is this series summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r square. So let us calculate this series first summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r into r plus 1 whole square. So then also this plus s so plus s is r equal to 1 to infinity summation 1 by r square. Now what will be this? So we can write this one as r plus one minus r. That means we can write this part as summation r equal to one to infinity. Then it will be r plus one divided by r into r plus one. So we can write this as one by r into r plus one. And then minus r divided by r into r plus one whole square. That means summation r equal to one to infinity one by r plus one whole square plus summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r square. So we can calculate this one. This is nothing but a telescopic series. So this series here will be summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r minus 1 by r plus 1 minus now this series and this series there is something similar. Because this series is nothing but summation r equal to 2 to infinity 1 by r square. And here it is summation r equal to 1 to infinity 1 by r square. Now this series will cancel this series except one term. What will be that term? See, if I expand this series here, it will be 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus so on up to infinity and here this series will give us 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus so on up to infinity. So we can see easily that these terms will cancel each other but this one will remain here as it is. That means we have to also consider this one from this part that means 1 plus now summation of this series will give us 1 minus 0. So, 1. That means our final value of this i plus s where i is this integral and s is this series. So, i plus s is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2. So, this 2 will be our correct answer. I hope you understood the concept behind this question.